So here's a look out toward the Tower Bridge. You can see those uh, flags right there in the foreground. We do have a southwest breeze coming in throughout the day today, around five, seven miles per hour. Not expecting anything extremely gusty, no wind advisory, but you're probably noted, especially if you have allergies, right? That wind moves all of that pollen all over the place. So take a look at what you're expecting today, mid 60s, around two o'clock in the afternoon. Near 70 degrees coming in around four to six o'clock in the evening. And then as we move into tonight, you'll see clear skies and temperatures in the lower 50s by midnight. So what's ahead? Well, I kind of gave it away, right? Plenty of sunshine is expected over the course of the weekend. Near seasonal highs on tap for today and also as we move into Saturday and Sunday. I'm calling it a spring-like weekend because normal daytime high is 73. Today, we're going around 71. Tomorrow, 74. I like it. Now, let's talk about something I don't like. As temperatures start to warm and we get into the spring season, Sierra snowmelt is going to be something that we will talk a lot about. And there is a flood watch in effect over the course of the weekend because of snowmelt concerns. We're going to carve out those details in just a few seconds. Uh, mountain showers are possible in the forecast. That's reintroduced into the forecast Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So here's the flood watch that I mentioned, and it is going to be for parts of the higher Sierra. And that is because we got mild temperatures on tap for the weekend, so there will be some Sierra snow melt. Now, the National Weather Service has carved out just a few of those local tributaries that we're going to be watching. The Susan River uh, near Susanville in Lassen County. We also have the uh, Walker River coming in south of Bridgeport, and we're also looking at parts of the Carson River, forks of the Carson River just outside of Reno. Those could be running high, and they're going to be swift, and they will be dangerously cold. This flood watch is in effect Saturday afternoon throughout the day on Sunday all the way until Monday morning, and that's, again, easy. East Walker River below Bridgeport. So our temperature trend, we know things are warming up, but not for long. The 70s coming in Saturday, that's our game day. The weather amazing. And then a low pressure system comes in and what goes up? It goes right back down. Lower 70s to the lower 60s by the time you get to Tuesday. So what's causing all of this? Well, it's a low pressure system in tandem with a cold front. You can kind of make up that frontal boundary right here. This is Monday morning, hits the coastline, but when does it get to us? Not until Monday night. And even then, it's just a chance of a few light showers. You'll have some snow showers coming in around 5,000 feet in elevation. They'll linger through the day on Tuesday. And still a few leftover snow showers and possible rain showers, more likely for the northern end of the valley floor. And that will be Wednesday before this system wraps up and moves out of here on Thursday. How much more snowfall could we pick up? I know. It just keeps on coming, right? About 24 inches coming in for Kybers, close to 20 inches coming in for Kirkwood, as well as Bear Valley, close to six and a half inches in Forest Hill. So if you are traveling in the Sierra, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, heads up, you could have some travel hiccups because, again, of a weather system coming in. All in all, Don, I know we got a chance of more rain and snow with cooler weather, but the weekend, amazing.